All right, so most people always ask me how I choose to take a photo um, or how I how my photos look so great. Um, I'm, I'm really not sure, but this is kind of the process I'll go through today. Um, I'm here at Mirror Lake in Utah. It's up in Summit County somewhere. I'm not really sure, but uh, I'm going to take a photo of this, if you guys can all see. So I'm probably going to take a photo of something right here. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to wait for the sun to go down a little bit. Hopefully um, it does what I want it to do and we'll get some good reflections off of this, off the lake. And we'll see why they call it Mirror Lake. Alright, so I'm going to do a little rundown of the equipment I'm using. Um, Canon 60. Mark II. Uh, the lens is a Tamron 2.8, uh, 28 to 75 millimeter um, lens for the wider angle. Then I'm also going to be using an ND filter, and it looks like this. So this is what's going to make this picture, this photo, magical. It's going to be able to allow me to have a long, longer exposure so that the water kind of um, levels out I guess so it's gonna look kind of like a mirror and then it will allow me to just have a longer uh, exposure I did forget a tripod um, left it at the house back in California so I'm kind of stuck with this little thing um, it's not ideal but uh, well, we gotta, we'll see if it works out because you need a tripod so that the camera doesn't move while you're uh, taking the exposure. If, if uh, any movement comes, it's going to be one blurry picture. Alright, so this is the image I'm going for. I don't know if you guys could really see that, but I have it focused on the trees. Uh, manually focused it. I have it set to the aperture at 11 and I'm going to mess with the shutter speed in a little bit but this is what the, the uh, ND filter does it just makes everything darker um, allowing for a longer shutter speed so I'm going to take the image and we'll see how it comes out